Back in 2009, I caught wind of a TV series called Whitechapel. It was billed as a police procedural cum thriller with horror elements where a serial killer would be recreating Jack the Ripper's crimes in modern day London. Now, I'm not actually huge on the horror genre, but I am open to it once in a while. Truth be told, it was really the Ripper storyline that pulled me through. I've been intrigued by it since the Michael Caine Jack the Ripper miniseries back in 1988, which really fascinated me and stuck with me in some ways. I also recognised the three leads in Whitechapel right away. Steve Pemberton, in particular, has done stints in numerous shows from the UK, including The League of Gentlemen and even Doctor Who. The other two leads, Rupert Penry Jones and Phil Davis, are also actors I had a lot of time for. Penry Jones had made dozens of episodes of Spooks, for example, while Davis felt like he'd been in everything too, much like Pemberton, including Doctor Who as well. And I've got to say, the first series of Whitechapel was sublime, and still is. I rewatched it only recently. It's just three episodes long, but what those three episodes pack in is extraordinary. For example, you get to know the three leads really well. You get to know the wider detective team well too. And the crimes are well done, including the one that the Ripper pulls off with hundreds of people in the vicinity, including the media. With this particular murder, you're really lulled into the same sense of comfort that the characters in the story have. They think they have the area covered so well, how can a murder happen there? And yet it does. Fantastic writing. The second season is almost as entertaining as the first, but unlike the first, is full of holes which really don't stand up to scrutiny. This time around, another three episodes tell the story of a modern day pair of twins causing a ripple in Whitechapel's ganglands as they are, allegedly, born from the frozen sperm of one of the dreaded Cray twins, Ronnie. These twins are equally as violent and trying really hard to live up to the name. And like I say, these episodes are entertaining, but it really does feel like a colour by numbers retread of the first season in places, except with a plot that's way, way, way more far-fetched than the first series, where a serial killer who idolises Jack the Ripper was at least somewhat believable. Looking at the third and fourth series, I have no evidence of this, but it's almost like the writers decided they'd tried to make lightning strike twice with the second series, and it really hadn't worked. As a result, the third and fourth seasons have twice as many episodes, six in each, but actually tell three separate stories a season, and vitally, these aren't stories that are intrinsically linked to the area, like the Ripper or the Craze were. I think both of these latter seasons work really well. The murders are macabre and often a bit far-fetched, but never in quite the same way that the Craze-themed second season was far-fetched. That remains the low point of the series for me. Viewer-wise, the first series was pulling really strong UK viewer figures in the 8 and 9 millions, and the second and third series was still strong in the 6 and 7 millions. The fourth series, meanwhile, is the problem child. It was only pulling in figures in the mid 3 to 5 millions, well down on the first series, so you can see why Whitechapel was eventually scrapped. Looking back on the series from 2022, this still feels quite fresh. This could run on TV for the first time next week, and I wouldn't blink an eyelid. It really hasn't dated to my eyes. So, if it's not streaming where you are, it's absolutely worth picking up on used DVDs. And I say used as it's long out of print here in Australia, and I presume the rest of the world, when it comes to physical media. Just a word of warning though, don't watch the series if you're at all squeamish or don't enjoy some scares and thrills. It's never done in a cheap slasher film of the week kind of way, but there's enough in Whitechapel across all the seasons to really scare people of a certain disposition. 
horror aside, this is a serious drama and it has really well-defined characters who you can't help but really like from the outset, whether it's the volunteer police researcher, the grizzled detective sergeant who grew up locally and has a few skeletons in his closet to boot, through to the detective inspector who has to gain and maintain the respect of his team while the whole time struggling with OCD and issues around cleanliness. It's an interesting premise, it's an interesting cast. If it sounds like your cup of tea, my strong advice is to give it a try. Anyway, have you seen Whitechapel? Why don't you let me know your experiences down below in the comments.